Hello guys, welcome to the channel Cooking Time with Daniela. Now you may be wondering, where is the real host? Where is the original host? Well, I've come to take her place today because we're going to be creating a Canadian breakfast. So since we're making a Canadian breakfast, we figured why not have a real Canadian do it? So since I was born here, I decided why not me, me do it? So let's introduce you to the ingredients. So first we're going to be making the batter. This is the pancake flour here, and this is melted butter. We add this melted butter for it to be more creamy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the butter and we're going to add it inside. Yeah, so you only have to melt this butter for like 30, for only 30 seconds because it only takes a little while. Now once you've had it in, in, into the batter, you don't want it to be too smooth. You want to add the milk in. So you want to take the milk and you want to take some of it in. Now you don't want it to be too uh, light so we'll add a little bit first. Then you'll start mixing it from here. Now uh, since we're not going to add more milk let's just go here. Take one egg. And we're going to crack one egg into the batter. Once we add our one egg, it's all just smooth staling from here. We just continue mixing, continue adding milk. It's really for perspective, really. It's what you want to add into the thing. You can add whatever you want, whatever you really like into the pancakes since uh, everyone has different styles and tastes. So uh, when I'm finished mixing this, uh, I'll be back. So uh, see you guys then, bye. Hello guys, we're back and uh, I finished mixing the batter. So uh, we're going to plug this in. And now we're going to get our oil, lightly drizzle. And then very lightly paint the surface and coat it with the oil. Make sure not to be used too much. Too much is always bad. So once you finish, I will turn this on. So I will turn the knob over to 250 to just to start it with 300 yeah and then we'll take this here this ladle was uh, much better for doing it because uh, it takes more better okay so we've let it rest for a little bit let it heat up a little bit so now we're going to take a ladle refill and we're going to take it and we're going to slowly add the pancake batter on now, once we have this pancake butter, calmly, and then let it rest. All right, so we've got the point where it seems that the bottom has been done. So my easy trick for checking if the bottom is done is putting it under the spot, putting it underneath and checking. If no batter seems to come on the spatula, that means the bottom is done. So you're going to take the bottom. Nice and easy flip. Look, there it is. Nice and creamy pancake. Now we're going to repeat the process, making sure to keep the pancakes nice and done. All right, so we finished these ones, as you can tell, look how fluffy they look. So we're going to start the next coating. This is a reminder to, uh, this is a reminder to clean off the surface before making your mixed roll of pancakes, because if you don't clean off the surface, it's going to end up badly. Now we're going to start like this. We're going to take the pancake batter and we're going to add it on like this. But there's a, there's a catch. Now, instead of just leaving it there to cook, we're going to take some blueberry. 
get that, sprinkle them in. And then we're going to continue the process. Take the pancake. All right, so it's come to flip the pancakes. So we're going to take this one calmly mold it. Um, as soon as these two are nice, so I'm just going to do a cut. Okay, and flip the pancake. The oil. We're going to take the oil. And then we're going to add the small amount. Remember not to take uh, too much. Uh, you can also use a you can also use a regular pan for this. It's just because we happen to have this, so we're using this instead. You can you can use whatever you want for it. Now this is for the next twist. We're just going to take the regular pancake batter, like we've done before, and we're going to take the pancake, add it on there, real good. Then we're going to take the strawberries. Now we're going to add them in there. That's another twist. So yeah, we'll repeat the process just like we did with the blueberries. All right, so we finished making the regular pancake, the blueberry pancake and the strawberry pancake. So now we get to the second part of our breakfast. We're going to be making over easy eggs. You can make them sunny side up. You can make them scrambled. It's a matter of perspective, but I figured uh, why not try something new? Just go over easy. So over easy is like when you take a sunny side up egg and then cook both sides of it. So let me show you, it's easier to sometimes with actions rather than words. So. You take the egg and then you crack it right here. Now it's gotten to the point where we're going to be flavoring our eggs, so I'm going to sprinkle. All right, so we got into the stage where the bottoms are cooking. So let's start from here. So yeah, we're going to pick it up from the bottom very carefully. You don't want to break the egg. Yeah, so once we take it. All right, so we're just going to put this here. Uh, we're going to clean off the stove just as we start making our over easy eggs. And we're going to take this. That's sizzling already. <laughs> we're going to add a little bit more oil because bacon needs lots of oil. So we're just going to put this in here. We're going to just place the bacon piece by piece in a row. All right, so I'm going to be arranging the meal, so I have to be washing my hands before that. So, yeah, seems we're nearing the end of our adventure, so let's start. So first, we're going to take the strawberry pancake, place it there, then we'll take the bacon, place one piece, and place another piece and then we'll take this blueberry and then we'll add the egg then we'll have the regular white put on here and now we just need maple syrup so all we have to do is just pick it up and then 
at that. Really easy, really simple. And then we're going to make the next one. So again, we'll take this. Take this two pieces of bacon for each one. Take the blueberry. Pick up the egg. And then place this on top. And then to repeat the process. Take this. With that. And the in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for the food, the water, the food, and everything we have. Amen. Amen. This food we rest as we eat it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. So, yeah, please uh, like and share with friends. So, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, you can see you've seen uh, Canadian breakfast.